Hey yo guys, what's up? My name is That Talk Though, and today we shall um hmm do a tutorial on how to get little lag, well less lag in Minecraft. So yeah, let's begin. It's three programs you'll need. First one is called Optifine. Second one is called Razor Game Booster. And oh wait, there is no third one. Lol. So today, uh, let's get started. The first one you need is uh, Optifine, of course, which is super duper awesome. We, it will. I'll explain lots of things later. So we go into type in Optifine.net slash downloads, and then you pick the ver version you have. I already have it. But I'll just download it right now. Why not? Click on download. No, don't stay on page. Come on, do it. Come on. Oh, all right. Let's refresh the page. That was weird. Come on. All right. That, oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was weird. Okay. Skip ad. Then download. Keep. Then just drag it to your desktop. Or a place where you can remember it. Oh, oh, what's this now? Stop it. Stop. Ah. Damn it. Come on. What's going on? Ah. What's this now? Oh my goodness. No, just. There we go. Okay. That was super embarrassing. Okay, let's do it properly. Take that. Drag it into this corner, which should take us to the desktop. Like that. And then you'll have to double click to start it up. Click on install. Optifine successfully installed. Then you can basically just throw it out again. But then afterwards, since I already have Minecraft up and running, there should be a profile called Optifine. If not, if you don't want it, you could just simply click up to find just hit the delete button wait no 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 that's not how you do it you right click and then click on delete just like that and then you can go into your profile that you usually use and then click on edit and then you go into use versions you click on optifine that one and there you basically have it and just rename it to tour tutorial like that click on save and then we'll start it up and uh, while that is starting up I'll explain then I'll show you something else called Razer Game Booster Razer Game Booster is something that will sort of optimize your com computer even if it's very shitty to say it like that it will take what it can and oomph it up to its maximum capacity and do whatever the best it can but of course if you have a very shit computer that gives you like 10 fps on minecraft even with optifine or without it might just give you about 10 to 15 fps depending on your settings and your computer itself so yeah and uh so let's just click on search and oops go into google type in razor game booster click on that first link and uh, before you download Razer Game Booster you need to have a Razer account which is completely free usually if you already have like a Razer product it will ask you to do it and if you already have a Razer account you can just do it log in with it click on download well I'm not going to do it since I already have it installed I don't want to crash anything or something like that and then since you and then afterwards you just click install it and then log in open up Razer Game Booster and then take a little while come on if, if it doesn't work it might actually sometimes not work just click on run as a minute ad blah, administrator click on yes and there we go wait for it to load and then I'll let me just uh, once again log in 
to my Steam, no, uh, <laughs> my Steam Booster account. Yeah, damn it. Okay, now I'm confused. That's the right thing, right? It'd be embarrassing to forget it right now. Come on. There we go. So after you've logged in and set up for the first time, it will start scanning your computer for games. And as you see, and the default, this will it will usually take like Steam games or League of Legends. For instance, yeah, Counter Strike, Loadout, G Mod, Left 4 Dead, Team Fortress, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but if you don't find Minecraft, don't worry, you have done nothing wrong. All right, just simply click on this, Add Games. It'll search up all of the programs or EXE files on the computer, and then you click the simply click on that, click on Minecraft, click on. Oh wait, no, that's not. That's not what I meant. But if you can't even find it here, then you have to click on Add Games and then manually look for the EXE file. Go back, and there you have it. There's Minecraft, and you just run it, and then you there you go. You, and you don't have to worry about things this right here manual boost is for instance if you even want to if you want to maybe use your uh, if you want to use your PC much faster you can still just click on boost now when it will ultimate uh, or even if you have launched a game I mean sorry it's also good for without just playing games you just click on boost now it will look for a game that it has in this case it's Minecraft and you simply exit out and then, yeah, so it's Minecraft has been boosted. Let me just open up Fraps. Uh, okay, well, so. No, wait, never mind. You actually have to record this in Fraps, so I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, now we're in Minecraft. We can successfully continue on with the tutorial. Uh, let's see here. Let's just pick. Areas. Create oh shit. Create a new world to test out this tutorial. Let's go and quickly and creative super flat. Uh where is it? There we go. Just do that. Bada beam bada boom. Alright, once in Minecraft, uh, you can, there's some options that there is, let me just make this big, real quick, uh, I'll explain that later. So here is, as you may notice, there are many, many, many more options here. And the first things to get more FPS, like the FPS Minecraft, Minecraft FPS Guide 101, graphics must be on fast. If you have a good computer, um, you can, you can if you want to go fancy, but of course it'll be slower. It'll be better graphics, but it'll go slower. In my case, I don't care, I just go fast. Bobbing doesn't affect, uh, unless you have, uh, map maps. If you're using map maps, uh, set it to off, which I am right now. Uh, smooth lightning, uh, does it? Yeah, it does increase. It does have it on zero, or very very little, I usually have no see, I don't, don't, don't mind. Uh, GUI scale, you can, doesn't matter that much, but personal preference, I like it small. But for this tutorial, I'll just make it big real quick. Um, brightness, doesn't affect FPS at all, really. Fog, keep down off, uh, um, uh, advanced OpenGL, to fast not fancy if you have this is basically if you have a graphics card or like a pro graphics card or something then you can leave it on f if you have if it's quite good you can leave it on far fancy if you want to but I just keep it on uh, on fast clouds off fog start to two quality there we go mid map doesn't matter that much I keep it on there uh, this it doesn't affect your performance so don't matter but that and a stropic that's a anisotropic, yeah, anisotropic filtering. You want to leave that to off, clear water off, off, uh, custom fonts. Sure, whatever. Off, 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 custom sky. Off, map type nearest. Yeah. Yeah, 
and there so everything in quality off performance smooth world um this is very good for fps it will stabilize the fps by disturbing the internet huh stabilizes fps by disturbing the internet server load effective only for local words and single core cpu so if you're playing this in survival mode or single player it'll be it's it's very good for that but if you're playing multiplayer you can just deactivate it doesn't matter that much uh preload chunks to off and uh, dynamic updates off lazy chunk loading uh if you leave it on on uh it smooths it will uh, make it much more smoother really not that choppy fast render keep that on on fast math on chunk updates uh, number of chunks update per rendered frame i just keep it on one load far do not do that that's how we'll that's like one of the things that will lag smooth fps of course you want to do that uh other lagometer uh, it's just some other stuff but here auto save it will uh yeah it will cause the famous lag spike of death uh but of course do not go two seconds yeah if you want to 20 is a bit too short three minutes good a half an hour uh, not very i mean think of maybe working on something and then you're your uh, what's it called in survival mode and then something happens you know and then it all just goes away like your wi-fi not wi-fi but your electricity goes or your computer simply crashes it's not very wonderful you just keep that on three and then this everything live off 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 time default animations all off all right and particles uh, I keep it on decrease because I like to see a little bit of them, them particles. Uh, details. Fast, fast, fast sky. Off, off, fast. Cloud height, you take that off. Um, drop items should be fast. Makes it 2D fa fancy if... Uh, if you want to be... Oh, excuse me. If you want to but it makes it slower. So, yeah. And render distance. Uh, it's quite explanatory right here. Two, that's the tiniest of the tiny. You, uh, it's quite much FPS I'm getting right now. But uh, let's see here. I keep the and my computer's not that shit, so I leave it on about six, but not seven or eight. And like for instance, if I do this extreme, oh it doesn't. Oh yeah, that is. Oh that's a lot of lag. I'll turn that down before it crashes my PC. So yeah, just play around with through render distance if you want to. I personally keep it on six. Max frame rate, take that to unlimited. Makes it much more smooth. Uh, well, uh, actually, what the fr frame rate does, it um, let's see here, it uh, locks it sort of. Uh, like for instance, if you put it in, in, if I switch just to 30 FPS right now, it literally locks my game to 30 FPS and beneath. But if I take it to unlimited. It can go, it can do the hell what it wants. It can do something to literally 1000. Or oh, can it? Yeah, or, th yeah, sounds like that. So, yeah. And that's basically it for this uh, tutorial. Please like, like it if you if you think it helped. Or if there's anything you're wondering, just uh, send me a, a, leave a comment below. And yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay crispy.